Ever since I can remember, I love to draw. I have four older brothers that when I was little, they were always drawing and they were really good. And I saw how good they were. So I wanted to be as good as they were. And I saw if I practiced, I could get as good as they were. So I was always drawing around our house. When I graduated college, I thought I was gonna get that children's book right off the bat. But it took six years of sending out my work to different publishers. And really, that six years, that's where I really developed my style. I have illustrated 14 books, and I'm currently working on my 15th book right now. It's very daunting when I first get that story. I'll read the story over and over and start coming up with ideas of how I want the pictures to look. They always start in my sketchbook. I don't usually think up ideas. I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna come up with sometimes when I start working in my sketchbook. I enjoy drawing animals more than people because to me they're, they're more expressive. You know, when I draw a person, I feel like people have certain expectations of what they should look like. With an animal, you can really make it whatever you want it to look like. And there are more things to play with. So I'm not thinking necessarily as much about what these specific animals would do as much as if they were, almost like if they were human, what would they do? Should we draw a flower? Yeah. I don't have my kids in mind when I'm working as much as I, I love adding little elements of their life and my life into the illustrations. Franklin loves baseball. There's a baseball hidden in every one of my books. My work has maybe become a little more child friendly, you know, because I'm seeing what my kids are reacting to, you know, and maybe I'm seeing books through their eyes a little bit more. Before having kids, I would look at the illustrations, and if the illustrations were great, then I would think it was a great children's book. But that's not necessarily true. I think that some of the simplest illustrations are some of my kids' favorite books. You know, if the story and the illustrations work together, I think that's what makes a great children's book.